Hello everyone, and um, today we do have a video in store. In fact, this is going to be a rather... Well, it's not exactly the most exciting video on the planet, I'll give you that, but it's a very strange pairing. This is an Optiplex GX280. I believe this is just one model newer than when they added SATA to the to the um, Optiplex line, um, because I have a GX270 over there, and that has SATA, and it's um, either the first or second chipset Intel ever did SATA on, and um, it, uh, um, this still just has two ports, but this is Intel 915, and then that, the one over there is like 875 or 865, but anyway, I don't use this computer for anything, really, uh, so it would be quite nice um, to perhaps use this as a, mm, well, not really off-site per se, but I guess pretty much off-site backup computer. Um, uh, one that's just going to be plugged in and turned on only to copy data off of every other drive that I have data worth backing up on. This system um, has a Pentium 4 of some sort. It's quite like the it's quite like the Dimension 4700 in terms of hardware, except uh, the CPU support is for some reason more limited. Um, apparently, could have had four SATA ports. Um, I wonder if you got. I knew that at some point it became possible to specifically request a SATA optical drive. I wonder if that would have been the uh, the basis that they gave someone a uh, a f third and fourth SATA port. Well, really, second and uh, third, because this port is zero. But that doesn't matter. But what does matter is that, I should have said this a bit earlier, is that this hard drive is eight terabytes. And I suppose my question is, will an eight terabyte hard drive even work in a system so old. The GX280 and the Dimension 4700 were prob quite probably the first systems from Dell, at least out of both of their respective lines, uh, that shipped that shipped standard with uh, SATA hard drives. Um, but uh, with that being said, uh, let's see, I guess we'll go with these ones. Uh, with that being said, uh, they do still re retain one one IDE channel, um, or would you say two? I don't I don't know. But anyway, it's a you know it's one IDE port, so two drives in theory. But it's intended for up to two CD drives. It's not intended for IDE hard drives. But there's nothing stopping you. But yes, um, let's see, I, I guess I got this computer from the dump, um, as I believe was mentioned in one of my older videos. Um, obviously the Windows XP 32-bit that runs on this um, is not going to be able to access this drive in any fashion. Um, though, theoretically, such a thing as Paragon uh, GPT loader would solve that, but... Um, I don't know where you'd find it, and I don't know anybody who knows where you'd find it, so pretty much that's out of the question, but this also does run Q4OS, and at this point it's probably a rather outdated version. It might be the first version that I've ever burnt to a CD, um, in fact, uh, but it's probably still getting updates for at least a short amount of time, and frankly, with being connected to the local network and the local network only for like a few hours every month or so, I don't think it matters too much. But at some point, probably be ideal to modernize it. But anyway, as far as um, as far as electrical goes. Uh, both both thingies are connected now. So uh, let me set this computer up somewhere and then we will see what exactly happens. Let's see what the computer hap uh, happens to do. I think I'd say it's either going to freeze before it actually gets a chance to boot 
or into the BIOS or it's going to work. And well, it would seem that I was right. Oh, oh, well, okay. Um, it was definitely choking a bit there, so. Oh, it's not even on, so it was not. That was just random, I guess, then. Let's see what happens this time. Not much delay that time, that's strange. But, uh, let's see. Oh! <laughs> oh, it <laughs> Well, um, as you can see, uh, it's, um, not pleased, per se. Uh, because nothing is displaying in that pane, and it's not, it's not, um, very happy. And yes, I've just feel, I've just, uh, filled the keyboard buffer, and it's letting me know about that, angrily. But let's just see what happens, uh, when we, well, if we can boot into an operating system. Uh, that's a that is rather surprising that it uh, didn't care one bit about the uh, the state of this hard drive when it went to boot. Um, let's see, I guess... I guess I was a little more zoomed in than I intended to be. But anyway... And I think this is the only system that I have auto login enabled on. Oh dear. I know this is some excellent, completely brilliant camera work, but. Um, okay. Yeah, it's a little slow to boot. Oh, wow, you can tell that it's been a little bit since this thing's been used. Look at that Firefox icon. That's Firefox 52. Or earlier. I mean, it's probably 52, but... Well, maybe they did... Maybe that did last until 56. I, I can't keep these things straight. But now let's go on a tangent and see what version that is apparently. Oh dear. <laughs> ah, okay, so this is newer Firefox, and that's very strange. What version is this? 67. Hmm. So why is that the old icon? But anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. Um, control? No, that's probably not what I want. I want... Um, Let's see here. G parted. Oh, it was on the. It was on the darn desktop the entire time. Ah, uh, yes, I probably entered that wrong, considering there's no T in that. A new medium has been detected. Wow, eight eight terabyte. Huh. I suppose there is the question of whether or not this can actually write anything meaningful without corruption. Um, wow. What do you suppose is on this drive? What 300 megabytes of garbage has been put on this drive? This is history in the making. I, I mean, I knew this was a used drive, but... Frankly, I wasn't expecting stuff to be on it. Well, there's apparently nothing there. Um, I guess the answer is nothing meaningful, but it's strange that there's still a normal folder left. I just want to make sure it's empty. I mean, obviously this doesn't matter. Um, I don't know what I'm... Ah, yes, okay, I'm just blind. Okay. But yes, it's, it's empty, but... Yeah, so it's just, uh... It's mostly just garbage. Um, but, um... Basically, just yeet all this. 
and um, might be a bit heathenish of me, but uh, just make this one giant partition. <laughs> the fact that Fat16 and Fat32 are not grayed out at that sort of size is quite amusing. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's see. My next biggest drive, which I think is either 2 or 4 terabytes, um, we will call this one Megastore because that one is called Superstore. And I don't know why. I mean, I can obviously just go and type an E, but... I don't know. For some reason, I have no E on the other drive, so <laughs> might as well continue the tradition. Um, I know there is a video where I said I'm not that silly, but I think it's readily apparent that I am exactly that silly. Um, let's see, yes. Make ourselves a beautiful X4 partition. Um, Uh, hmm. Okay. So apparently I need to reboot to like uh, actually properly yeet the partitions or something. Oh wait, I think I know why. Oh, well that's not exactly what I was expecting, but I was expecting it to still be mounted and that's not the case at all. But anyway, we'll do as it says and reboot, I guess. Oh, apparently I've had this camera on the entire time, but it's not like it matters. Because, um, you know, editing is the thing. Um, but anyway. We've restarted, and uh, Gparted is opening. Um, so we'll see if this is any different. If it if it does that again, I'm going to guess that it actually cannot manage to do stuff properly with this disc. But uh, I'll just try applying that. Okay, try doing things one at a time, actually. New. And um, let's see, put back our name. Now you'd think that this would actually be too orders of magnitude too small of a name, wouldn't you? Um, oh, you know what, that's probably not what I want. I don't, well, I don't know, but label seems more correct, but I don't, I don't know the difference between partition name and label, really, but... Okay. Yes? Go ahead. I guess partition name must be what disk managers look at, and then label is what, uh, like, file explorers and all that look at. Um, but it seems to be doing stuff. That was fast. But look at that. It, uh, it seems like it worked, despite, um, despite, um, some definite complaints from the BIOS about stuff, but let's, um, let's see, do I have just a new file thing? No? Okay. Let's open something then. Uh, no, that's not going to help. Programs. LibreOffice, sure. Word processor. I should probably connect this thing to the network as well, because it's going to be looking for probably years of updates. Well, yeah, I suppose Firefox 67 was sufficiently long enough ago to, to qualify as years at this point. Not properly ages or anything, but... It's old, man! Let's see. It's like this is a test. Um... focus there. Why is it beeping so much? Using the system beeper, of all things. I know it doesn't exist. I'm asking you to make it exist. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, well, we apparently for some reason only have read access, so that's not very convenient, is it? Oh, it's not mounted. Mounting it would help. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Now watch this work. Okay. Test. Oh my god. Blah, blah. This won't save. All right. Sufficiently old nano to not do that. Yep. Um, it's not. Let's just make sure it's not a. Uh, let's just make sure it's not a permissions problem. Okay, sudo nano test not text. Well, uh, no complaints from it yet. This might save. All right. I know it's bad practice to use that, but old habits die hard. Um, but anyway, so it's just a permission issue, so I can, uh, you know, just, let's see, let me just make sure the owner is me, gh own user, probably not doing this right, media, user, slash, okay, gh own, I've probably got the order wrong, because I always have it wrong, Oh, sudo might help. I guess it worked. So let's um. Did the chain did the change uh, own successfully? So G. I don't know why I try to say ch mod. Change mod um seven seven seven. That's probably not recommended, but I don't care. Um, because that would be. Well. You know, now that I think about it, I don't want anything being executed on that. Okay, well, that's what I wanted, so... Oh, right, I'm stupid. Because execute permissions on a folder, do you know what they do? They don't allow you to list a directory. So, well, that should have been more obvious why it didn't work. But anyway, so now we should just be able to be a lowly peasant... And, um, ah, oh, yes, now here we see it, unless I was just blind before, but now we can just be a lowly peasant. Done. And look at that. I, I am so low, lowly, but I can still right here but anyway um, let's see you see that there you can see in fact that the hard drive is in fact working quite swimmingly 7.3 terabytes of usable space 93 megabytes used for whatever, which apparently results in 6.9 terabytes being free, which doesn't seem like math if you ask me, but uh, things are how they're supposed to be, so it doesn't matter. I guess I should have, I guess the lock on this folder, I should have realized something's wrong because that lost and found folder never actually has a lock on it. Um, but things are nice and fine and dandy so um out of curiosity i might stick this in the gx270 at some point and boot from some kind of linux live cd just to see what will happen because frankly i'm quite interested in what will happen but for now uh that's the end of this video which probably has wound up accidentally being quite long um but have a good day, or night, or whatever, and I'm mixing, mixing up the order that I generally go in. But anyway, if you have any comments or anything, uh, 
please feel free to leave one and uh, especially if you have some very old computer with some very new drive and if it works or doesn't work I'd like to hear about it. Um, I do know that 8 terabytes is probably okay for a lot of stuff. It's more like when you get into 16 terabytes that, well, allegedly stuff starts getting wonky. Um, but it's quite... I honestly can't say I was expecting this to work, but it certainly did work, and that's quite fancy. So, for real this time, have a good day, or night, or whatever.